This quaint United Methodist Church in Rustic, Alabama holds a surprise out back. Now here's something you don't see every day, a church with a gun range. But according to church member Charlotte Powell, it wasn't always this way. Our church had this uh, huge hole in the back. Pastor Phil Guin felt it was not only an eyesore, but also kind of dangerous. A large gully behind the church that was filled with uh, kudzu, vermin, and snakes. My husband said one day to one of our church family members, said, too bad we can't just put a gun range back there. And that was when the idea began. The more I thought about it, the more I liked the uniqueness of it and the idea of doing ministry in such a unique way. Yes, reaching people through a gun range, and it's working. Private citizens, law enforcement, and even church security teams flock to train and shoot here. Not everyone loves the idea, however. We've had naysayers that are saying, whoa, there's something wrong. We're a bunch of extremists. We're a bunch of negative, you know, gun-toting, redneck-type folks. And I know that some people will find it difficult to understand that we're mixing kind of God and guns here at this church. But they must remember our constituency and our community here. We're a very rural area. Everyone has guns. One prominent critic is Reverend Rob Shank, who's expressed his anti-gun stance in the documentary, The Armor of Light. There is a deep moral and ethical question here, and that is, when is a Christian permitted to kill another human being and under what circumstances? And any church that is going to introduce firearms into the life of that church has to address that question. But there's no question this unique outreach is getting results. Three weeks ago, we had five different churches that came in and had a gun safety class. We already have people showing up here that probably would not darken the doors of any typical church. So we see this as an evangelistic opportunity. Not everybody um, that you want to reach with the message of Christ is going to walk in the church door. But there's a chance that if you've got something unique that is important to them and that they like, that they'll come to see and perhaps have an opportunity to hear just exactly about the saving grace. For Shank, it appears to be about consistency on the life message. If we are pro-life and respect the sanctity of all human life, then we probably shouldn't use training to kill as a first step in introducing the gospel. But new shooter Deanna Van views it more from a protection perspective. If somebody breaks into your house, I mean, what are you going to do, hit them with a broom? The people here are the salt of the earth kind of people that are all across this great country of ours. And uh, they're not interested in, uh, you know, using guns in violent ways. However, uh, they, they recognize as well that there are times when weapons must be used. The pastor's teen son, Philip, agrees, like when it comes to defending your loved ones. I would, you know, take one, take a bullet for any of my family, and I would... Dish, dish a couple out. <laughs> Jesus laid down his life for us, and we're here to protect our lives for him. Shank just doesn't see the gospel and guns going together. We're talking about weapons that are designed to kill. And when you try to use that as a form of expressing the love of God for humanity, you might have a conflict there. But Van points out keeping good folks from guns isn't going to solve the plague of gun violence. A gun is going to get up and shoot somebody by itself. So it's, uh, <laughs> I think it's the operator of the gun that causes most of the problems, not the actual gun itself. I love my Second Amendment, you know, and if you try to take one of my guns, that's that's ridiculous. Pastor Guin admits some fellow Methodists have given him guff over the gun range, but certainly not all. One of the, uh, the individuals that came here uh, told me as a United Methodist that uh, she wished all the United Methodist churches had a ministry like this. Folks here realize there are probably a lot of Christians not comfortable with the idea of a church having its own gun range, but it's brought them a lot of attention here and many chances to minister. Paul Strand, CBN News, reporting from Jemison, Alabama.